Well, first of all, correct. I mean, just make sure we all get your last name pronounced correctly. Yesafu? <laughs> Yesafu, yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> okay. So you've got uh, past relationships with, with Coach DeVries. Yes, you, you understand his system a little bit. Explain what Darren DeVries' system is like. Um, it's basically free flowing. Uh, he lets guys, you know, just play. You know, um, he doesn't uh, have guys thinking too much out there. Lets guys play their game as long as it's, uh, you know, not taking bad shots. As long as you playing hard, you uh, defending, and that's about it. You healthy? I know you've had some <laughs> issues, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I'm I'm healthy. Um, yeah, I was uh, I've been out since last year, but you know, I'm getting working myself back. Anytime you're you're injured, you, I'm sure it's frustrating. How how was it dealing with the injury? Um, I, not gonna lie, it was tough. You know, I've never been a, away from basketball for that long. Um, but you know, when I look back on it, I needed it. You know, to, to take a step back. You know, and realize what's really important, and that's uh, Jesus Christ. So that's how I look at it. Is it hip, right? Or yes, sir. It's a hip. It was something like. Fell on it or? Uh, no, it was uh, over time. Uh, it wasn't like a like I, I hit something or fell. Um, it was over time wear and tear. Moved around obviously a good bit. Is that difficult uh, moving around in this and then this time? Why ultimately come back to Coach DeVries and, and to West Virginia? <coughs> uh, yeah, I moved around, um, you know, and you know, not a lot of guys, uh, you know, people. Uh, get to you know be in different places, um, but I look at that as a great opportunity to connect with people, connect with uh, people in different towns. Um, so I don't I don't really um, criticize myself for that. But the reason I chose uh, Coach DeVries again is because um, you know he's a great coach, um, and to be honest, he didn't even have to accept me back, you know, because you know you know how men are, um, but. You know, he that just shows the kind of person he is, shows the kind of coach he is, the father he is, um, to accept me back. And, you know, I, I'll never forget about that. Um, the fans here in Morgantown, I guess pretty much everywhere in the Big 12, everyone kind of hates Kansas. <laughs> what was your experience like? I love I love Kansas. Um, great community, um, great teammates, great coaching staff. Um, you know, that's my alma mater. I graduated from there. So it's, it's nothing, it's nothing, no bad blood between Kansas. I, I love everybody over there. What's it like being on a team that you know, I mean, everyone hates you? <laughs> obviously, other than the, the home fans, obviously, but everyone else is going to be rooting against you. What's that like? Um, it's In a way, it's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, going into a game, you know, the crowd's not going to be on your side at all. You're going to you're gonna get everybody's best, and that's what, that's what we loved. Um, it's always a target on our back, so we had to be prepared every night. You guys played at West Virginia then, yes, right? Yes, so sir. What, what, what was in the locker room? What was the thought about coming to the Coliseum? Because they hadn't had much success here yes, over sir. the years. Did you guys win that year? Yes, year, sir. Do you remember? Okay. Yes, sir. So, what was what was the thought amongst KU people about playing here? Uh, well, it's going to be a tough game, and it, they're going to be gritty. Um, you know, Coach Huggins was here. He's a you know. Great coach, and he know he knew what Huggins, uh, Coach Huggins, was about to uh, do. So um, it was a you know a tough game plan. A lot of a lot of uh, we just had to adjust to the play style. You know we weren't going to be getting a lot of calls because they're ultra aggressive. So we had to adjust all of that. As someone who's played in this system before, is it tougher to learn and pick up things offensively or defensively? Uh, it, it's not tough at all. Um, I, I still remember uh, how he wanted to play. Um, so it's a matter of, first of all, getting my belly back right, um, which, is, which it is now. And, you know, just getting, uh, getting healthy, getting back in shape, and, you know, just implementing what I've learned since I've been with them. Uh, speaking of that, were you, were you with Washington State in the tournament last year? NCAA? Yes, sir. I, I came back. Were you like an extra assistant coach for Drake? <laughs> Uh, yes and no. Uh, yes, sir. Um, I, you know, I, I wasn't one of those guys, you know, would reveal like, you know, game plans, but I did um, watch a lot of film before I got there and, you know, gave them, you know, a lot of player tendencies. Did it did, actually. Yeah. Six or seven, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, were you, when you, I think you played, what, five or six games last year? I didn't hear you. You played, like, what, five or six games? Yeah, last around year? there, yes, were you, sir. Were you done, done when you, you sat out? Were you thinking maybe you can come back? 
back at the end of the year? Like, how did that go for you? Because you could have applied for medical, but there's certain deadlines and all that stuff. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, I was dealing with the injury uh, in the summer uh, when I was at Washington State. Uh, so I sat out basically that whole summer because, you know, to get back right. So I started feeling a little bit better. Um, and then as the season started going on, it started going, you know, getting worse again. Um, so initially when I sat out, um, I wanted to come back. You know, I, I love basketball. Um, that was my, that, that's my, that's my true love. So um, I, I talked, I talked to a lot of people and they helped me realize if I can't give 100% on the court at that time, you know, it's best to, you know, save that year. That was just a weird experience last year at Washington State because you're going to a Pac-12 school that suddenly the Pac-12 isn't there anymore. <laughs> and then the coach, he seemed like a pretty good guy to play for, really popular player, so he leaves. Um, yes, just take me through all the, the many ups and downs for you last year with everything that was going on <laughs> beside basketball, which is pretty good. Yes, sir. Uh, it was a lot, you know. Um, you know, Coach, coach Smith is a you know, great person, great coach. Um, just, and then just having him leave, you know, I didn't, honestly, I didn't want to leave again. Like I didn't want to transfer again, but, um, you know, looking back on it, like I said, is it's a blessing in disguise. Um, I feel like everything has for a reason, you know, I was supposed to be here. So it's be playing for debris again. And, you know, I want to, I came here to win. So that's my ultimate goal. So how did that process work? You know, did, did he reach out to you? Oh yes, sir. He reached out to me actually when I was. Uh, it did. Uh, I was on a treadmill actually. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I was on a treadmill, and I got the call from him. I heard, but jumped off the treadmill, <laughs> um, and he just told me that uh, he would really like to. Uh, basically, saying I was interested, you know, to you know join him again, and of course, you know, I was open to it. So, yeah, that's how I got here. <laughs> what are some of your strengths? Uh, strengths, uh, to be honest, I'm a scorer. Um, driving, I can shoot, uh, pull up, like, I feel like. But I feel like my biggest thing is my defense. Um, of course, it's going to take a little time to come back, you know, dealing with my injury. But I feel like I, I could really get it in on the defensive end. Ball pressure. Ball pressure. I love pressuring people. I, I hate I, my biggest pet peeve is get scored on. <laughs> at Drake, was it two years? Two years, yes, sir. Um, so, I mean, obviously, you know, he's kind of building things there at that time and, and up-and-comer kind of. The, so now he's obviously in a new position, first, you know, Power 5 school. Do you see any difference in him since he's, you know, moved to the bigger school and, and, and that kind of stuff, or is he still the same guy that you knew two years ago? Uh, I'll say he's very, he's very confident. Yeah. Um, you know, coming in, he... You know, his first year at Drake, well, I wasn't there for his very first year, but um, he he definitely he definitely built that program up. Um, he, you know, you know, you go through ups and downs and he went through that his first his first two years. But after after that the first two years, he, he really figured it out. Um, but he overall, he's he's a great coach, you know, great person to play for, he cares for his players. He's a player's coach. He's still the same guy that you knew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. What about well, yeah, I mean, you played with him one year, I guess, right? No, I, actually, this is my you first did? year playing. Okay. I left the uh, year uh, he came. Okay. So, w w what's he give this team, and, and, and not just him, but maybe Toby and you know all, all the other guys you're, you're having to mix in with? Uh, first of all, he's the the reigning MV, uh, Missouri Valley Player of the Year, so you know he's gonna bring that experience. Great scorer. Um, also, he's a great leader. You know he's been he's been through it all. He's led teams to the the championship, won the championship. So he brings that experience, that championship mentality over here. Um, and you know and him playing his dad. You know that's a, that's a dream come true playing with your uh, your father. And I know they've been enjoying this you know this role. And I know they want to end his last year with a bang. So he's been, he he's definitely bringing that championship mentality, that winning mentality over here. You would have known Tucker. I guess he'd have been a little kid, don't you? Yeah. You still think him as a high school kid, or what's your? Uh, yeah, I thought yeah, a little bit. Um, but he he's definitely grown. You know, he used to hang with me a little bit, and so my teammates at Drake, you know, being the dorms, playing the game and stuff. So, you know, he's definitely grown, and he, I'm I'm very proud of him. You obviously going through the, the portal and uh, 
you've been in situations more than once of having to get to know a bunch of new guys. Any any tricks to that? Any any secrets on? Uh, I'll say just first of all, it's a blessing to get to know a lot of people, but I just say you know just be always be a good person, being a good person, keeping a smile on your face because you never know who who what whose life you can impact you with just a smile. You know, just being kind to people, that's that's what I've been trying, you know, to do throughout my life, you know, no matter what's going on within my life, no no matter how bad things get with me, you know, I always want to impact somebody's life every day. Anything different at all about getting to know this bunch compared to, you know, Washington State? What, what was the first part? I didn't. Or anything as far as getting to know this bunch here at WVU, anything different at all with getting to learn guys at Washington State or Kansas, or has it been any different experience at all? Or? Oh, no, sir, not really. I feel like it's, a, it's the same process. You know, when you first get here, you know, you got you to gotta feel people out to see their tendencies. You see what 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 makes them mad, what makes them, you know, you know happy or whatever that, whatever that may be. Um, but that just, that's, that's with everybody, you know, you got to, that's how you bond, that's how you build relationships with everybody, and that's how you create a team. Tell us part about not playing competitive basketball for seven or eight months. <laughs> Man, uh, when, you, when you've been around something your whole life for, I don't know, 24 years, um, it just feels like a piece of you is taken away because I felt like, you know, my identity was basketball, but my identity, I realized throughout that process, my identity isn't basketball. It's, you know, um, God, you know, um, be just being close to him. And that process helped me, you know, get close with him and realize what truly is important. Joseph, you've been on a lot of levels in college basketball. What is it that, well, you were with Kansas long enough to know, what is it that makes Kansas Kansas? Uh, uh, I say uh, the, just the atmosphere. Um, pe the people demand winning. Uh, if you win, if you don't win, you, you you came up short. Like they don't, they don't think, they don't believe that. They don't believe in runner-ups. Either you, you win it all, or you failed that season. So I feel like that mentality kind of put a, you know, not pressure on our best, but we knew that we had to come prepared every day. It's different being there though, than other places, isn't it? Sir. It's different being there than other places. Yes, isn't sir. It? I mean, but yes, sir. just in your attitude. And yes, sir. <laughs> From I'm Bolingbrook, Illinois. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Joseph, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you.